Oh, yes, I can. No. Nope. Yup. <laughs> You're really good at playing puppets, Tessa. Thanks. I'm always ready for action. Tessa style. But if we're going to do our puppet show today, we need to figure out the story. You're good at that part, Sophie. So you do that, and I'll start the show. No, wait. We need a plan. Come on, everyone. Come see our puppet show. Cool. Yay! Hey, stop. Can't catch me. Oh, yes, I can. Nope. Yup. <laughs> You're funny, Tessa. What happens next? Well, uh... They keep running and chasing each other. Then they run some more and... and... You need a better story, Tessa. Zika digga do. Hey, look! It's Police Officer Becky! <laughs> Officer Becky! Hello, Officer Becky. Hello. Officer Becky is great. I'll bet she's really good at solving things. Yeah, police officers like to figure things out, like I do. So I'd make a great police officer. And they have to act fast when someone needs help, like I do. So I'd be the best. I think I'd be the best. No, I would. Why don't we find out who'd make the best police officer? A police adventure! Yeah, let's go! Hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. We're gonna have some fun. Use our imagination. You can be anyone in any situation. Let's go on an adventure. fun use our imagination you can be anyone in any situation hey hey come out and play we're going on an adventure today let's do it easy peasy officers we have a traffic jam I'm here to help. Okay, let's figure this out. The blue car goes first, then the red and yellow cars pass, and open things up for the green car. The perfect plan. Huh? Keep moving, please. Stop. Okay, go. And now you. This way, please. Over here. Oh, thank you, Officer Tessa. No problem. I'm always ready to jump in and help. <laughs> what in the name of Dashing Ducklings is going on? Poor Mama Duck. Her babies won't stay in line. Officer Tessa will help. <laughs> Whoa, you come back here. Mm. Of course. Excuse me, may I borrow your fishing pole? Mama Duck, Officer Sophie has this all figured out. Your babies keep chasing after all different things they want. Hey! And since they all want bread, now they'll chase after you. <laughs> You're welcome, ma'am. All you really needed was a plan. to 
be the problem, little kittens. We're three little kittens, and we've lost our mittens. I'll, I'll find, find them. them. Don't worry. I'll figure out where your mittens are. I'll look everywhere till I find them. You can't just start looking. You need more information to find them. No time for that. These kittens need help right now. Getting information is helping. Looking everywhere is faster. Well, I'm going to find the mittens first. I'll find them first. Hmm. Ugh. Tell me, please, when was the last time you saw the kittens and their mittens? Oh, my. Have they lost them again? Oh, they should be more careful where they put their things. Just the facts, ma'am. When did you last see them? Oh, uh, yes. Um, I saw the kittens with mittens playing in the meadow. Thank you. This information will help me be the first to solve the case of the missing mittens. Hmm. I don't see any mittens. I bet those birds can see a lot more of fairy tale land from way up there. I need to get up higher. If I'm going to be the first to solve the case of the missing mittens. Those kittens. They're always losing their mittens, and they never know where to find them. Have you seen the kittens around here? Oh, yes. They love coming to the meadow to play with my children, who, by the way, have never lost a pair of mittens. Just the facts, ma'am. I understand. Kittens love to climb, and that's a fact. Oh, their favorite tree is the tallest one in the fairy tale forest. Thank you, ma'am. That will definitely help me to solve the case of the missing mittens. I found them! I found them. I found them first. I'm going to get them first. But how am I going to get them? I can't climb all the way up there. This big balloon can't get close enough to reach them. Tessa, I can't do this alone. I think we need to work together to finish... The Case of the Missing Mittens. One can see the problem. Two can talk it through. And when we work together, there's nothing we can't do. With teamwork, teamwork, we can get it done. Helpful. I help to plan the way And if we work together Then we can save the day With teamwork, teamwork We can get it done With teamwork, teamwork Everything's more fun Woohoo! Yes! Great job! The case of the missing mittens is solved. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, little kittens, try to be more careful with your mittens. Yo, yo, yo! Bye, bye. Bye now. Bye. Um, has anyone seen my shoes? Once upon a time, there were three little doggies. Ruff! The first little dog... That's me! ...built a dog house made of straw. But then... A great big wolf came along and said... Let me in, or I'll blow your house down! Stop in the name of the law! Huh? As police officers, we cannot let you blow someone's house down. That's how the story goes. Sorry, ma'am. The law is the law. I heard that one little dog is building a strong doghouse of bricks. Ahem. <laughs> <clears throat> We're not at that part yet. Why don't we build a brick house for everyone so no one's house will get blown down? We can all work together on that. 
This is not how the story goes. We can build one way over there for the wolf. We can use these bricks. <gasps> and so, together, they built four brick houses, and they all lived happily ever after. Cool! Yay! Yay! dig a do. <laughs> uh, you're a rocket. I think a pterodactyl. Mia, come and guess what Kobe is. No, thanks. I'm going to put on a play about a beautiful, perfect, princessy princess. Okay, have fun. Oh, I know. You're an airplane. My turn now. Kobe, can you pretty princess please watch my most favorite princess outfit? I need to find some other stuff for my play. Sure, Mia. I promise. Thanks, Kobe. <laughs> a pogo stick. A frog. A bouncing ball? A trampoline! Oh, what an M amazing outfit! So sparkly and shiny. Wait, I know! You're a kangaroo! Right! Your turn again, Kobe. Um, uh, that's okay. I already had a turn. Besides, I promised to watch Mia's princess outfit. Uh-oh. You go next, Sophie. Sure. I have to find something. Hmm. I am the Emma Amazing Princess Emma! Emma? Those are Mia's things. It's okay. Mia's my friend. She won't mind if I borrow them just for a little while. But I promise... I'll be a princess and you be my brave knight. Me? A knight? Let's go on a fairy tale land adventure, Kobe. Yeah. I would be an amazing knight. Uh, Kobe, didn't you promise to watch me as outfit for her? Oh, yes. But I will be watching it on Emma. Some fun, use our imagination. You can be anyone in any situation. Let's go on an adventure, exploring someplace new. Go near and far together. There's so much we can do. So hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. We're gonna have so much fun. <laughs> Jack! My princess outfit is gone! Uh, Kobe let Emma take your outfit to Fairy Tale Land. What? Come on, we have to get it back. Your royal carriage awaits, Your Highness. Uh, oh dear. That is not Princess Mia. Stay calm, Humpty. Uh, welcome, Princess! Um, um... Emma. Princess Emma! As a royal guard, I have promised to care for every princess in the realm. And a promise is a promise. Yay! I should take Emma back. Mia's gonna need her princess outfit for her play. This is for you, royal knight! To the castle! Lead the way! <sighs> oh, there goes my princess outfit. So much for Kobe's promise. Please step aside, Mr. Dragon, and open the gates. Sorry. Rules say that I must keep the castle safe for the princess. I am a princess. Can you open the gates? Oh, really? I know she's not Princess Mia, but she is a princess. Oh. oh hey. Please come in, Princess. Um. Emma. 
Oh, this is Emma amazing. Whoa. <sighs> oh, isn't it wonderful? We have a new princess. We simply must have a party to celebrate. This is all really great, Emma, but I think we should go home now. Hear ye, hear ye! Today there will be a celebration for Princess... Uh, hmm. Emma. Emma! With a special show by her royal knight. Did you hear that, Kobe? You're gonna put on a show? Yeah, I heard. I better try to find Mia and tell her what I've done. Ugh. Sorry, but I can't let you in. This entrance is for princesses only. But I am a princess. I just don't have my princess outfit on. No outfit, no entry. That's the rule. But I need to get in so I can get my outfit. <laughs> Good try, you two. But I am a dragon. You can't get past me. However, you might get around me by going through the tower window. Oh. Thank you, Mr. Dragon. <laughs> Here's my things. We have to get up there, Jack. Maybe these will help. Are those magic beans? Yes, they are. They're magic, all right. Ooh, I love fairy tale land. Looking for someone? Yes. Princess Mia, perhaps? Yes, I have to tell her that I made a big mistake. I made a promise, and I didn't keep it. Do you know where she is? Follow me. <laughs> Almost got it. Whoa! Mia, Jack, are you okay? Yeah. We're okay. <laughs> what are you doing here? I want to tell you I'm sorry, Mia. You trusted me to watch your things, and I let Emma borrow them. I broke my promise. I'm really sorry. Really? Really. And now I promise I'll get them back for you. How? I'll ask Emma to give them back. I know she will. Hmm, okay. Thank you, Kobe. Uh -uh. Sorry, but Humpty and Ginger won't let anyone talk to Princess Emma until after the show. Ugh, I promised I'd get Mia's things for her, and I will, one way or another. Here's what we do. <clears throat> and today, we are here to celebrate Princess... Uh, oh. Emma. Emma! Let the celebration begin! When you make a promise, you give your word. But let's be honest, sometimes it's very hard to keep a promise and follow through with what you say that you're going to do. But a promise is a promise, it's a promise to be true. It's important to be honest and do what you say you'll do. When you make a promise, that promise is real. So follow through, cause a deal is a deal. Keep your promise, just be true. And always do what you say you'll do. Cause a promise is a promise, it's a promise to be true. It's important to be honest and do what you say you'll do. Mia? What's going on? Why did the dragon give you the tiara and wand? Because they're my tiara and wand. Wait, guys, this is all my fault. I promised Mia I would watch her princess outfit while she got more stuff for her princess play. What? I didn't know you were going to do the play today. I am sorry. I'm the one who's sorry, Emma. I should have said something. And I'm sorry, Mia. You trusted me. 
And I broke my promise. Thank you for saying you're sorry, Colby. And don't worry, Emma. We can both be princesses today. That's amazing! Yay! Two princesses! Hey! Yay! So happy day! Happy, happy day! A duck? He's a dragon, of course. How was your adventure, guys? Great! I was a princess! I got to climb a magic beanstalk. I learned how important it is to keep a promise. And I got lots of great ideas for my princess play. Who wants to be in it? I do! Sounds fun! I want to be in it! Kobe will be the royal knight and watch over us all. Right, Kobe? Yep. I promise. I'm a Ooh. dragon! I want to be fairy. Oh. Okay, Eddie. The rules are, I hit the ball into your square. You let it bounce once, then hit it back to me. Got it? Got it. Here you go. Now you're playing two square Tessa style. Ooh. Hey. Ha! Did you see that? That was so high. Eddie, the rules say the ball has to stay in the square. So you're out, and now it's Kobe's turn. Watch this, Kobe. Huh. Oh. Eddie, it's not your turn anymore. But this is really fun. I know, but we're playing a game now, and those are the rules. <laughs> See what happens when you don't play right, Eddie? Sorry, Lucky. Here we go again. Come on. <sighs> I bet the animals in the jungle don't have to follow rules. Hey, Sophie, want to go on a jungle adventure with me? Um, okay. What do you want to do in the jungle? We can do anything we want there. Come on. Uh, all right. Some fun, use our imagination. You can be anyone in any situation. Let's go on an adventure, exploring someplace new. Go near and far together. There's so much we can do. So hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. We're gonna have so much fun. they're supposed to do. It's the jungle! Coming through! Ah. <laughs> Whoa! Woo! <laughs> Lunch! <laughs> These cars are so cool! <laughs> Go ahead! Take one for a spin! <laughs> Come on, Sophie! Let's drive! <laughs> are you sure it's okay? It's the jungle, Sophie! Uh, okay. Let's drive. Yeah! Woohoo! This is amazing! Look! An eating, reading, skateboarding monkey! This jungle is awesome! I'm not sure she should be doing all that at the same time. Why not? What could go wrong? <laughs> Monkey. Hi, I'm Eddie, and this is Sophie. Hi. Awesome. You guys want to come and play with me? Yeah. 
Hey, I know a great place. Oh, you're going to love it. Follow me. Come on, hurry up. <laughs> Come on, Sophie. Uh, but what about the car? Don't worry, just leave it. Come on, faster. Ah, <laughs> uh, oh boy. Wow, a national playground. I think he means natural. That too. <laughs> Come on, let's slide. Don't you slide down a slide? Nah, that's the way hippos do it. But we monkeys, we never follow the rules. <laughs> Me neither. I never follow the rules. Um, <laughs> maybe hippos have a reason for following the rules. Come on up, Eddie. There's room for two. Woo! That looks like fun. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Come on up! <laughs> Wee! Woo! <laughs> what did I tell ya? This is <gasps> Wait, guys, that sign means only one person at a time is allowed on the swing. It's okay. It won't hurt anything. Wee! This Woo! is fun! <laughs> that was awesome! Yeah, but this bird nest fell. Oh, yeah. I didn't see that. Are the eggs okay? Yeah, they're okay. Okay, here we go. So see? Swinging together didn't hurt anything. Um, I think it kind of did. Makes the best drinking fountain in the whole jungle. I guess that's why there's such a long line. <laughs> Lines are for elephants. Monkeys have better things to do than wait in line. Excuse me, pardon me, coming through. <clears throat> Excuse me, step aside. Meg, you cut in line in front of that baby. <laughs> Sorry, little guy. Uh, you made him cry, Meg. I did? <laughs> Oops. Sorry, but I was thirsty. The rules of good manners say you should wait your turn. But you don't like rules, right? I think maybe I do sometimes. Hey, come on! I want to show you another really cool place! Um... Uh, but it's a really cool place! Let's go! <sighs> hey, follow me! I'm gonna get one of the apples from that tree! Look. Nice one! Uh, I know you don't like rules, Eddie, but you shouldn't just climb over a fence. I bet there's a good reason you're not supposed to go in there. Uh, I know, but... Hurry up, Eddie! These apples are delicious! Mm. The apples are delicious, Sophie! <laughs> <laughs> the big ones are near the top! <laughs> oh, I'm so itchy! Why am I so itchy? <laughs> Me too, I think those flowers might be itchy. Weeds. It's weeds. We never should have come in here, Meg Monkey. World really are there for a reason. Uh, itchy. Rules are there for a reason. They keep us safe and sound. When you're not sure of what to do, they're good to have around. Rules are there for a reason. They help us do what's right. Sometimes it's hard to follow them, but please keep them in sight. Try to pay attention and follow 
wall the signs. Don't go up when it says down and wait your turn in line. You may want to play somewhere, a fence is in your way. Just follow the rules and don't go in and you'll stay safe all day. Rules are there for a reason. Ready to play again. And I promise, this time I'll play by the rules. There's a line, Eddie. Oh, sorry, just passing through. I'm after Sophie, right? Yep. Huh. Oh. Hey guys, what about a new rule? If you're not playing, then you have to cheer really, really loud. Woohoo! Yeah! Yay! What's wrong? Don't you like my new rule? Yeah, I like it. All right. Sounds fun. Me too. Let's cheer! Woohoo! What you doing, Kobe? I'm making new stuff out of old stuff. Greetings, Earthlings. The same way Tess and Mia made a new alien costume out of old boxes. What is this Tessa and Mia you speak of? Look at this other head. It is a fun Earth thing. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you are right, other head. And steady Eddie shoots. He scores and the crowd goes wild! Yeah! Woohoo! This isn't trash, Eddie. It can be recycled. The recycling truck will take it so it can get turned into a new can or part of a bike or maybe even an airplane. Huh. It looks like trash to me. <gasps> that sounds like the recycling truck. Wow! I'd love to drive one of those big trucks. Wouldn't you? <gasps> Zika digga do! That's a great idea! Uh, what is? We should go on a recycling adventure and drive one of those trucks. We could find all kinds of cool stuff to recycle or reuse. Yeah, but I just want to drive a truck. You'd get to drive an awesome truck with flashy lights and grindy sounds and a huge back that opens up and... Okay, okay, let's do it. Some fun, use our imagination. You can be anyone in any situation. Let's go on an adventure, exploring someplace new. Go near and far together. There's so much we can do. So, hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. We're gonna have so much fun. This truck! This is amazing! Let's drive! Buckle up! Somebody 
somebody wore a lot of party hats. Or a lot of somebody's each wore one. <laughs> yeah, that makes more sense. <laughs> <laughs> now these old party hats will be turned into brand new party hats. And Steady Eddie is ready to go. Huh? Let's go, Kobe. I want to drive. Hmm. All those hats could be made into new hats. But why don't we see what this magical recycling truck can do with them? <sighs> well, okay. But then can we drive? Sure. Whoa! Did you see that? Yeah! Cool! From party hats to party streamer! And I know just where we can hang it! at the annual Monkey Madness Food, Fashion, and Fun Festival. Oh, it's perfect. This will really bring in the crowds. Thanks. You're welcome. And we've been saving all our milk jugs for you. Hey, thanks. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. Scientific fact. Plastic milk jugs can be recycled into new milk jugs. Yeah, but I wonder what our magical recycling truck can turn them into. Let's find out. And I know who these are for. Bowling pins for bowling pigs. Yeah! Awesome! Nice work, fellas. <laughs> Do you guys have anything here for us to recycle? S mm, sorry, nothing to recycle. Just a bunch of old tires. Okay, thanks. By the way, thanks for these bowling pins. It's not much fun bowling with just a ball. <laughs> oh, excuse me. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> yeah. Kobe, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Yup. Want to see what a recycling truck can do with those tires? Oh, yeah. Are for. Yeehaw! Thanks for these. They'll keep my babies busy for a long while. You're welcome, Ruthie. Rocking horses for rocking rabbits. <laughs> Excuse me, Ruthie. Do you have anything to be recycled? I have some junk I was gonna throw away. Throw away? You boys have imagination. Can you reuse anything? I think we can. That thing from in your past might seem like it won't last. Don't throw it away so fast, because you might just have a blast.
Okay, maybe not everything can be reused. But almost everything you use can be made into something new. Make you something brand new, something new for me and you. Mm -hmm. All right. Wow. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. Rock on, Ruthie! Go, oh, Ruthie! Yeah! That was awesome! Hello, Earth friends. Welcome back. We made some cool Earth music makers. From junk we were throwing away. Anything is possible when you use a little imagination. <laughs> but almost everything you use can be made into something new. Make it something brand new, something new for me and you. A drum. A duck. Quack, quack. An alien. A truck. Ribbit, yep, that's what I am. A frog prince. Ribbit, pass it. Ugh. Uh, nice shot. Poor, poor froggy. Uh, Mia, watch out for our game. Some mean witch put a magic spell on you. Mia! Didn't you hear? Hear what? Oh, look. That Ella's going to Mrs. Melman's house. I bet she's checking on her kitty. I'm going to be a veterinarian when I grow up. I'll help lots of animals. Say ah. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Sophie's going to be a great vet someday. But first you'll have to practice with lots of animals. <laughs> huh? <laughs> You're right, Eddie. And there are lots of animals in the jungle. <sighs> That's why I'm going on a jungle adventure. Sounds like fun. I'll come with you. Oh, me too. Me too. Maybe there's a frog there we can turn into a prince. Bye. Have fun. Hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. We're going to have some fun. Use our imagination. You can be anyone in any situation. Let's go on an adventure. Someplace new, go near and far together. There's so much we can do. So, hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. We're gonna have so much fun. Use our imagination. You could be anyone in any situation. Hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. Let's go. Everyone. I'm veterinarian Sophie. And I'm her assistant, Mia. And I'm... What am I, vet Sophie? You're the, um, note-taking, problem-asking, people-greeting-behind-the-desk person. The medical receptionist. Cool! So, why don't you all tell me why you're here to see the vet? <laughs> okay, I see. Uh-huh, I hear you. It's important for a vet to listen carefully to the patient before deciding what's wrong. Then we can make sure each of them gets the right treatment. Ooh, stickers. I can't wait to hand out stickers. Vet Sophie, this is Benji. And here is his chart. Interesting. Thanks, Kobe. So how are you feeling, Benji? Cold. You have a cold? Oh, no! But, but I... <sighs> You're going to need lots of tissues and cough drops and soup and a nice warm blanket. That's nice, Mia, but let's listen to everything Benji has to say. Thank you, Vet Sophie. I was going to say I have cold 
feet. <sighs> when did you first notice this? Um... Right before I went to bed last night. I see. And do you usually wear something on your feet at bedtime? Oh, yes. I wear nice, warm, fuzzy slippers. But I lost them. Then I have just the right treatment for you. Medical receptionist Kobe, can you please bring in a pair of warm, fuzzy slippers size super-duper extra-extra-large? Sure. Oh, um, actually, make that two pairs of slippers. I'm on it. Here you go, Vet Sophie. Thanks, Kobe. Oh, <laughs> warm and fuzzy on all four feet. Thank you. I feel so much better now. <laughs> Woohoo! That Sophie, this is Mel. She doesn't know why she keeps bouncing up and down. Uh, like that. So, Mel, let's take a listen. We don't need to listen. I can tell that Mel has a case of the jumping jitters. We can use a big piece of super sticky tape to stick her tail to the floor so she'll stop bouncing. <laughs> Maybe we should listen a little closer to our patient, Mia. My stethoscope can hear what's going on inside her body. <clears throat> I think you have the hiccups. Hiccups! Don't worry, they don't last long. But sometimes it helps to hold your breath and count to five. Try it with me. <gasps> One, two, three, four. Um, what comes next? <laughs> Pretty sure it's not six or eight. It's five! <sighs> <sighs> Looks like your hiccups are gone. <laughs> Glad we could help. Holly Ostrich was here a minute ago. Uh, I think I lost him. I think I found him. Uh, Vet Sophie, we've got a patient who's a little scared. Hmm. Ollie just needs someone to listen to him and calm him down. I'll go see him. Murray Penguin? You'll be next, Murray. Follow me. Just wait right here. Vet Sophie will be back soon. No need to wait for Vet Sophie. I can see what's wrong with you without even asking. You're sad. And I bet I know why. Nobody remembered your birthday. Mia to the rescue! Oh, here you go. Oh. This will help. Here you go. Hold this. Hmm. Perfect. Oops. Sorry, Murray. All better now, Ollie. We'll give you a ride home as soon as I see the last patient. What in the name of busted balloons happened here? Murray Penguin is sad, so I tried to cheer him up. But I think I made it worse. Why is he sad? I thought I knew, but I didn't really listen, and I don't know. Hi, Murray. Can you tell us why you've got the gloomies? Hmm, a picture of snow. Like where you come from? <gasps> you ice skate there, right? <laughs> that does look like fun. It's a snowman! Now I know why you're sad. I listened to you, and now I know. You miss your home, right? Good listening, Mia. Now, let's make you feel better. Next stop, Snow Globia. Listening's what you need to do. So you hear your friends. 
friends and they hear you You'll never know what you might be missing If you don't stop and give a little listen Hear that happy penguin sound Cause now you're home all safe and sound Turns out that's what he was missing And all we did was give a little listen something out. Remember the monkey with the hiccups? <laughs> <laughs> You're right, Mia. Yep, I was listening. Snack time! I've got cookies. I heard that. Yum! See? Good things happen when you listen. Cookies for you, cookies for you! Thank you! <laughs> Ooh, these are delicious. Get ready for Steady Eddie to kick this ball to the sky! Here it comes! Uh. Uh. I got it! Huh. Oh. Great kick, Eddie! Oh, thanks! Now it's Tessa's turn to kick. Hey, where are you going, Eddie? It's Colby's turn to pitch and your turn to catch. No thanks. I just like kicking. That's not fair to us. You have to play all the parts of the game, not just the fun parts. Kobe can throw and catch. He's really good at it. <laughs> what do you see, Mr. Papa? Never mind. I'll look myself. Oh, the bus is coming. Emily, the bus driver, is so nice. And she gets to drive a bus. She's always right on time. And she gets to drive a bus. She stops at every single bus stop. And she gets to drive a bus. Maybe we should go on a bus driving adventure together. Great idea, Sophie. I'll drive. <laughs> <laughs> of course. <laughs> yeah. Hey, guys. We're going on a bus driving adventure. Want to come? Okay, sounds like fun. Woohoo! I'm gonna drive a bus. just to board. Uh, maybe. But the fun part is driving. That's 
screen shows you all the places you have to stop. <gasps> you better slow down, Eddie. The first stop is coming up now. No one here? Okay, let's go. Wait! It's the tortoise queen. I want to get off here and go say hi. Yeah, me too. <sighs> Hello, Tortoise Queen. Hello. Are you coming? No, thanks. I don't want to say hi. I want to drive. It's super fun. I love super fun. I'll go with you. Cool. We'll come back and pick them up later. Oh, oh. goodness. He's in a hurry. I suppose that's good. He'll be picking up guests for our party. Party? Every year, we celebrate the day I was crowned queen of the jungle. With music, cake, decorations. You're all invited, of course. Though we're not quite ready yet. Would you like some help? I would love some help. Then the perfect party planning people are here. Let's get busy, everyone. Ah! Driving through the mud is awesome! <laughs> okay, right there. Ha. What a wonderful stage! Perfect for the monkey band. Uh, where is the band? They'll be on the bus when it gets back here. I think that was a bus stop, Eddie. You should have stopped. Hold on, Mia. This is going to be a big one. Table. Thanks. I hope it's big enough for the cake. And if we're going to have cake, we're going to need plates. And forks. And forks and forks and forks. And very special napkins. Yes! How wonderful! Our guests will love this. Whoa! <laughs> I feel like a He can start the moment the bus arrives. Here it is now! Woohoo! That was awesome! Eddie, where are the guests? <laughs> guests? Yes, they were coming on the bus. And bringing the music and cake and decorations. Uh-oh. I guess I should have stopped at those bus stops, huh, Mia? Yes, Eddie. That's what bus drivers do. Yeah. I guess everyone was counting on me to do every part of the job. Not just the fun driving part. 
Mm. Yeah. Yep. Hmm. Well, I'll just go back and do the route again. And this time, I'll stop at every bus stop. I promise. Yeah! Oh, yeah. Fantastic! We know you like to drive the bus and never want to stop. But once you've picked up all the gas, this party's gonna pop. Best with everything and do it with a smile. When you decide to start something, then finish it in style. They're counting on me to do my part, not just the part that's fun. So I will help with everything and think about everyone. Together. 